Thanks for joining us on Tandem Radio for a very special segment by design, focused on helping you understand how God designed you so that you may be healthy and productive in fulfilling God's purposes in your life for many years to come. Now let's join our host, health expert and public speaker, Dr. James Prudian. Hello and welcome to the By Design radio program. My name is Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare and PrudianHealthcare.com, where health literacy is the key to longevity. And as long as God has us on this side of eternity, my show is designed to educate you and your families to feel better, to function better, and live as many quality, disease-free years as possible. And thank you for joining me this week. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off last week with a continuation of toxicity and how we uh, are learning about what toxicity is and its impact on our bodies, particularly our liver and our kidneys, because that's where we're, really where we're focusing our natural detoxification centers. By design, once again, we are designed to detoxify. God gave us that ability. And yet, we, as a society, are heavily toxic. And what happens to toxins that are not assimilated by the liver and kidney is that they are left to recirculate throughout the body. And that recirculation of toxins can cause a host of problems. So like with the other shows, each show is meant to build on the show prior. So the building blocks of my show are like the kids on the beach. They make a pyramid, four on three on two on one, and education is designed to be cumulative. So as we each show builds upon each other, we're just going to pick up where we left off, left off by first going over a couple of the points of the last show and then getting into the meat of this show. The foundation is knowing about toxic chemicals in our environment in, in this show as it based upon chemicals and metals. So remember that's where the toxification is coming from as it relates to the six chemicals and metals that we went over last time, which are of six of 278 that are found in most, almost all American uh, 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 citizens. So that being said, man has done a pretty damaging job by putting into our environment many things that we were just not designed to assimilate and detoxify at the rate they're coming into us. Luke 137, for with God nothing is impossible, and that's exactly what um, we, we're about when we, with better education, nothing is impossible as he has designed us a certain way, and let's get back to his design, because plenty of people out there on Route 9 just are not following his design with the the, the epidemics of obesity and high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes that are really taking so many quality years off of us. So functional medicine, those nine points that each week we go over because repetition is the finest form of learning and I don't want you to forget them. Number one, how our body rids itself of toxins. Number two, the regulation of hormones. Three, our immune system and how our bodies are designed to protect against illness. Number four, inflammatory responses and how to live in an anti-inflammatory state. Number five, our digestion and the absorption of nutrients. Six, the health of our digestive tract. Number seven, our structural integrity. Number eight, our spiritual walk. And number nine, how we produce energy. These are the connect the dots components that you could ask me for. I'll be happy to send them to you, but those nine points, you want to have them up on your mirror when you get up and brush your teeth or after you're done doing your, your devotions in the morning. You want to read those nine things because your body is meant to work in one orchestrated uh, union of how those things are working together to give us truly good health. So as we move into the show, our functional medicine points for the day are going to lead us into where we left off, which was toxicity. Now our toxicity, the last thing I stated the last time was we talked about six things that we know are toxic to the human body and our liver is working overtime to get these things out of our body. One of them was mercury, for instance, and how a heavy metal like that could be so damaging to brain tissue. A uh, few of the slides that I have, a lot of people ask me about organic products, and there are a host of things, I mean, you go to your store that are really, we call them the dirty dozen, and those dirty types of foods such as celery and peaches and strawberries and blueberries and nectarines and spinach and cherries and pota potatoes and grapes, those are the types of things that if you can buy them more organic, please buy them more organic because there is a heavy pesticide load on those types of things. Whereas conventionally grown onions and avocado, um, asparagus, eggplant, 
those maybe you know it may not have to buy those types of foods organic because they're relatively clean so when you go shopping just to, to start to show off now that you know what toxicity is and hopefully you've listened to the prior shows we have a good understanding of the way our bodies are designed to detoxify there are certain organic foods that really are superior you think back to many years ago hundreds of years ago I, I kind of laughed was there such a thing as a, a, a non-organic food all food was organic it's man's intervention with so many pesticides into the food that has created such a chemical imbalance in some of the foods we're eating and shows following this one we're going to specifically get into the nutritional components because remember the shows are built upon the triad of health they're physical they're nutritional and they're psychological those are the three components of health coming together other ingredients that I want you to avoid that are toxic things like artificial colors and artificial flavorings you know these are linked to allergy allergic uh, reactions, fatigue, asthma, skin rashes, hyperactivity, headaches, you know, uh, th such things as artificial flavorings, even uh, dermatitis and asthma. Uh, these are things that man has made. Some guy in a laboratory made these and dumped them into our food to make our food have better looking color or flavorings. And so when, when you think about Bob, and if somebody's named Bob out there, I don't mean to be offensive, but I use Bob when I lecture. And he's got a job, and he, his job over the last hundred or so years in the Industrial Revolution has been to make things that our cells really don't recognize. They don't know what they are. And artificial colors and flavorings are a few. Artificial sweeteners, also things like NutraSweet, saccharin, aspartame, and equal and uh, uh, sucralose, these are highly processed, chemical der chemically derived, you know, zero calorie sweeteners found in diet foods and diet products, uh, you know, to reduce calories per serving. But they have a negative impact on our, our metabolism. And they have been linked to cancer and dizziness, hallucination, headaches, things like that. So we want to use, if you're going to use a sweetener, like sugar, you know, we think about sugar in 1935 or so, we used to consume 35 pounds of sugar per person per year. But now we're consuming over 150 pounds of the stuff. So I don't know, not that I don't know, it's not whether or not we're going to pick a man-made product, let's pick a God-made product like honey or, 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 or sugar that is not processed, but let's just be careful the amount of it that we're using. You know, another uh, product out there is called xalitol, which comes from a birch tree. And I'm a big fan of xalitol, just do not feed it to an animal. It's for human consumption only. But xalitol has no negative impact on teeth. And that's also a really good sweetener. Um, the next one we want to avoid it, uh, or, or, or look at are uh, brominated vegetable oil. And these are chemicals that bo boost the flavor in many citric-based uh, fruit and soft drinks. And hopefully nobody listening to me you know, drinks soft drinks because they're so bad for us. Uh, they increase triglycerides and cholesterol by adding this compound to our, our sodas and our soft drinks. It can damage our liver, uh, thyroid, our kidneys. Once again, our body has to work overtime to try to detoxify this stuff that's coming into us. You know, body's sitting down there, we've designed a certain way, we got the liver, we got the kidney, the intestines, these things are meant to be detoxifying substances as they're coming in. And it's like, well, what is this stuff? Next one is like high fructose corn syrup. This was made in the 70s. It's a cheap alternative to cane and, um, and beet sugar. And it sustains freshness in baked goods. It blends easily into beverages and makes them sweet. Uh, it predisposes the body to turn fructose into fat. And it increases the risk for type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, and cancer. It's not easily metabolized by the liver. And read your ingredients. High fructose corn syrup should be avoided at all costs. It's so damaging to us. And it's a highly toxic um, additive. MSG. Many people know what MSG is, as it's in a lot of Chinese food, or they put it into foods like that. It's a flavor enhancer. It's in restaurants, uh, restaurant food, salad dressing, chips, frozen foods, soups, and you know other types of foods. It may stimulate appetite, cause headache, nausea, weakness, wheezing, asthma, change in heart rate, burning sensations, and difficulty in breathing. You know, so these food additives or substances that are not necessarily known by our does our design aren't good for us. We want to avoid them, stay away from them. 
shortening, such as hydrogenated and partially hydrogenated oil, you know, that tub of lard that's processed and it says right on it, vegetable shortening. These are industrial created fats used in more than 40,000 food products in the United States. It's cheaper than most oil. I mean, it's cheaper than good old fashioned olive oil, which is healthy for us. These um, shortening and hydrogenated, uh, hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated oils contain high levels of trans fats, which raise the bad cholesterol and lower the good cholesterol, and they absolutely contribute to the risk of heart disease. So in the triad, the physical, the nutritional, the psychological, we got to stop admiring the problem. We got to get out there and take action on when we're shopping the, our grocery stores, identifying man-made food. What are the things that some guy Bob in a lab made for us that isn't necessarily by design the way God made ourselves to process and assim assimilate toxins and the toxic burden that's being put on us? So Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And our healthcare system for the last 20, 30, 40 years has been burdened with taking care of such sick individuals, but it's environmentally sick. We are doing it by making the choices in everyday life. We need to avoid making these unhealthy choices that are so very simple, particularly in the things that we shop and buy at our grocery store. And so that when we're pushing that, cart down the aisle and you pick up a product and it has high fructose corn syrup on the label, let's think about that. Let's think again and hopefully some of the practical examples that I share with you on this show allows you to not only purchase things but to think through the toxification centers in your body and how we should be detoxifying. And thank you so much for listening to the By Design radio program. Uh, thank you for joining me, Dr. James Prudy, for this episode. And if you'd like more information about Prudy and Healthcare, please go to prudyandhealthcare.com. It's spelled P-R-O-O-D-I-A-N. And uh, feel free to submit any questions you might have for the show. Uh, keep your questions brief. And uh, in this upcoming week, for you and your family, I want you to do something for your personal health and wellness that will enable you to feel better, function better, live longer, be well, and God bless you and your families. Thank you very much. You've been listening to By Design with Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare. To learn more, visit us at tandemradio.com, that's tandemradio.com, or on Facebook. And don't forget to email us with your questions. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, hope you have a healthy week, and we look forward to you joining us next time for more fantastic insights from Dr. James Prudian on By Design, a special production of Tandem Radio.